the energy vibration reading for um, the Taurus Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the energy vibration for November 2018 okay so um, let's move along and look the month of November has to deal with the energy vibration of the star and the star is a wonderful energy it's yes go ahead and do whatever but before you do that let's see what is going to be happening this month have two helpers it is the energy of justice and the energy of the hermit now this is good for people who are having conflicts resolution of conflicts and people who have done things that they need to look within for in wisdom and guidance okay we have the unicorns and we have the saint and angel um, that is working with us in uh, this month so um, the month has five weeks so please go and listen to the general readings and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful support likes and shares um, this is going to be a magical month in the sense of the star um, but go and listen to the general readings because there's more information in the general readings that is going to be helping you um, to tell you which week is going to be good and off the bat um, the third week is going to be good for you earth sign people okay so don't forget to download go and download October um, go and download October reading because um, you're going to be um, October moon reading um, you are going to be get in um, more and extra um, help coming in for October reading okay so let's go ahead and see what is happening and what is transpiring in the first week you Taurus has the eight of sword the nine of swords in the first week so the nine of swords is an energy of um, it's always about the thoughts it's all about worries there's worries coming in in the first week for you Tauruses it's all about worrying about situation because you have the energy of the hangman you're you uh, have you know um, a close off yourself and um, you are worried and you need to get out of that because the energy of the hangman with the nine of swords is not really a nice place to be well this is looking up in the second week the Empress is coming in the Empress is the mother the Empress is the mother of uh, you um, earth sign people and this is the second week is going to be a very creative week that is happening an extremely creative week that is happening um, you Empress there's an extremely creative week it's going to be one of your best week um, also because there's transformation that is coming in with your materialistic thing and I hold up the, the, the ace of Pentacles now what this is saying is that in the third week because you have the the general energy of the third week is the energy of uh, um, balance and the universe is going to be blessing you with the energy of money money this is the beginning of a new start maybe um, to um, a financial um, debt or f unexpected money is coming in so you um, this is going to be good the Empress with the ace of Pentacles this is all about unexpected money it's uh, as if uh, um, ways you know money that was supposed to come in did not come in the end of the month before coming in the first week and the second week and third week it's going to be coming up Queen of Wands whoever this person is um, this is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay um, so some of you this could be your partner um, she could be returning some money to you if this person had lent borrowed some money from you she could be returning this money to you um, this Queen of Wands whoever she is and in the last week you have the Prince of Wands so these Prince of Wands have been coming up um, but it depends on how you look at this person because it could be um, in the five the fifth week that this person is basically going to help you we're not yet sure so we're going to be looking so your month is actually here hurt hurt and fire to fire at the end okay but the third week of um, second week and third week is going to be your best week second week and third week is going to be your best week now we're going to be um, looking at the Prince of Wands to see 
what is he all about and um, what is he up to okay so let's look and see in the first week going in the second week you have the Queen of Cups first week going in the second week you have the Queen of Cups now there was some worried about this person um, there is some worries about this person whoever this Queen of Cups is and um, your your financial stability okay the Queen of cups there's some words about the Queen of cups and the, your financial stability okay and um, when we look forward and we're looking at what is transpiring um, the energy of the Empress is here and um, the princess of cups so um, this could be some of you kids that are asking for help okay it could be some of your kids are asking for help or um, your your child's mother and father is asking for help but whatever it is it has to do with your materialistic stability as we look at the third week going in the fourth week there's the energy of the star wonderful energy um, this is the energy vibration of the month so this is going to be good and I'm seeing the energy of the universe is best in you with some financial so money unexpected money is going to be coming in and it's as if your guides and angels is aligning you with this money this money could be coming from uh, money that was lent out um, this is coming from someone who is a um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay it was money that was lent out that is going to be returning to you or yeah because the ace of Pentacles the star and it's coming from the Queen of Wands which is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius the King of Cups comes in this could be your partner and um, this 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 King of Cups that comes in um, it could be your partner and your partner um yeah your, your ex-partner some of it is your partner and some of it is your ex-partner and the kid okay it's all about kids in the month of November there is a lot of karmatic situation that is going on there's a lot of people kids are coming up so much in these readings so um some of you could have um some of you could um, have um, a relationship um, with the King of Cups and his ex-wife and the kids is coming in um, the alignment with you guys so obviously whatever the situation is and whatever is happening you are having a situation to deal with this King of Cups and his ex relationship this King of Cups um, and his ex-wife is coming back in your life and you have the Prince of Wands here it's all about it's a weird situation um, as we look at the second week the MG of the Empress is here and some of you were connected to uh, Pisces cancer and scorpion five of you to four to five years and older and you have a daughter that is um, that is also um, a Pisces cancer or scorpion um, this is act a perfect um, love is as if uh, um, as some of you are going to be connecting with your wife or your if you're in a relationship um, with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, it's gonna be perfect it's gonna be a wonderful relationship because um, they or your twin flame or your soulmate so um, some of you in the second week could be connecting with a um, Pisces cancer or a scorpion in the second week and what is going to be happening and aligning you with the second week is that you are going to be realizing that oh my god um, these people are so so it's unbelievable these people or really my soul family I feel so connected with them so it um, this is going to be so good because um, you all are going to be it's as if you're you're healing the situations as we look in the third week the ace of Pentacles and the princess of Pentacles okay so you ladies between the ages of 15 and 45 money is going to be coming from you some of you have lent out some money uh, you could have lent out some money um, to uh, your sister that is um, Pisces cancer or scorpion or a girlfriend that is a Pisces cancer or scorpion and she is going to be returning this to you I'm seeing a lot of money coming 
up uh, um, for um, you young ladies 15 to 45 a lot of money is going to be coming up for you as we look at week as we look at week four some of you are dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarius is it could be your mom now there is a situation a karmatic situation because um, um, in the fourth week your mom uh, your mom is connected um, to this um, this this king of cups this king of cups some of you could be in a relationship Or some of you are seeing someone who is married and this King of Cups is married to the Queen of Wands so who is this Queen of Wands she's an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and um, he's married to this person okay and whoever she is she's just kind of being annoying so don't think about it this is and some of you if you are in a relationship with a Pisces cancer scorpion he used to be in a relationship with a queen of ones which in the Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you know she's trying to make things she's trying to make things she's getting involved in a situation where she's not supposed to get involved I I think because the lovers uh, some of you could be and, and and you ladies 15 to 45 you ladies 15 to 45 you're going to be meeting your soulmate but it's going to be a very hard relationship okay it's not going to be one of the most easiest relationship then we have the lovers um, the, in the second week going in the third week um, we have um, some of you second week going in the third week second week going in the third week is all about your financial stability and it says the universe is going to be blessing you with some unexpected gifts of money coming in but the princess of cups who is a Pisces cancer or scorpion um, some of you could be this could be your partner but are your soulmate and you ladies that have a, a relationship or a girlfriend um, that is a Pisces cancer scorpion is going to be helping you um, to balance out your financial situation but you're going to decide to 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 move away you're going to decide no I don't want to be with these people in this situation you you're basically going to decide no I don't want to be with these people in this situation whatever is happening I basically don't want to deal with it for whatever reason is it you're gonna say I basically don't want to deal with the situation and you're gonna be turning your back on it for whatever the reason is okay now um, as we look at this trying to remember oh, oh. Mm. As we look at this, the emperor comes out. So, um, you ladies between the ages of 25 and 45, you are going to be connecting with the right people, the right situation. You're going to be building on your financial stability. This is going to be good. Some of you are going to be connecting with the right companies, the right people, the right jobs. What is so good about this month for you Taurus is the Empress and the Emperor is here and you ladies between the ages of 25 and 45 um, or people between the ages of 25 and 45 um, you're gonna be connecting with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion in the same age group it could be a relationship this could be a karmatic relationship and they are going to be helping you on the work floor whoever these people are these um, water sign people who are coming in they're going to be helping you uh, with work on uh, to find work or to start your business or to be connecting with you in business okay because I'm seeing an older vision of the water people which is 45 years and older and I'm seeing a younger vision of the water people that you, and it's all about 
the Empress and the Emperor which is stability it's this promotion it's his foundation it is these people coming in your life so it could be um, for some of you is a Capricorn lady and um, um, you men are going to be very very successful um, in the third week going out in the fourth week okay the third week going out in the fourth week you men are going to be extremely extremely successful um, with what is happening okay so um, when we look at the situation and um, we're looking uh, further to find out what is it exactly that is transpiring which you are going to be seeing that the energy of um, the Emperor has to deal with the Aries the energy of the Emperor is it has to deal with the Aries um, so some of you are going to be walking away um, from an Aries you're gonna be decided to walk away from an Aries let's see what is coming out um, some of you are going to be walking away from the Aries and um, Capricorn um, the Empress is the energy of a Capricorn that is going to be coming in. Um, this person could be a soulmate or a twin flame. The outcomes, wonderful outcomes. Um, the outcomes is the fool. You're going on a new journey. So this is good. This is a very good. This is positive. So um, a Capricorn could be coming in to help you. But there's also... Um, um, someone who is going to be helping you to make a transit you know someone who is make, uh, going to help you to make a transit in your life okay so um, in the, se the second week a Capricorn could be helping you out a Capricorn could be helping you out in the second week so this is what we are seeing here um, it's all about you guys seems to be um, healing um, situation okay so as I look at your reading